Hello everyone, I'm Captain Indifferent, and in this video I'm going over the jobs that I think are the easiest to play for each role. This can be looked at in different ways, like what job can I play without paying attention, or what job has the least amount of buttons, or changes the least from 30 to 80, and the list goes on. I'm going to go at it from the approach of how easy a job is to learn how to play, and how difficult it is to execute its rotation at level 80. As this could be debated so many ways, and everyone has their own opinions, I'll be adding an honorable mention section at the end. But for now, let's get into it. Let's start with the tank roll. Honestly, they are all pretty easy, but I would recommend the warrior. You can start the game playing Marauder, which becomes Warrior. I consider this a big point in favor of the warrior, as you don't need to progress all the way to Heaven's Ward just to start at level 30 when you unlock it like Dark Knight, or level to 60 for Gunbreaker. Their combos and rotations evolve naturally while leveling, and the warrior has the least amount of job actions, with 21 at level 80, whereas the Paladin has the most with 26. They also heal themselves with their combo, and have two big instant heals to use. Aside from keeping yourself alive, you only have to focus on keeping your damage buff, Storm's Eye, up, and using your beast gauge efficiently. For the healer rule, I would have to say White Mage. Not only is it the most popular healer, but it's pretty simple to learn. It's another case where you can start the game by choosing Conjurer, which becomes White Mage. The White Mage has a wide variety of heals. They have a single and multi-target healing and healing over time spells, a targeted AoE zone heal, a single target barrier, an AoE spell that damages, heals, and restores MP at the same time. Not to mention they have access to Holy, an AoE damage and stun that is probably the best spell to use in dungeons in the game, and Benediction, an instant cast spell that restores all of the target's HP, which neither of the other healers can do. Also. Their level 80 ability gives you magic wings. Next we're on to melee DPS. Dragoon is hands down the easiest melee job, and it still performs well to boot. Like the others so far, you can start out as Lancer, which becomes Dragoon. Also, like Warrior, they have the least amount of job actions, with 21. They only have three actions that require positionals. Moves unique to melee DPS, which require you to stand either behind an enemy, or flank them on either side. To contrast this, the Monk has twice that many. Their two combos alternate back and forth, one after the other, so there's no variance, and they have a little added mobility with their jumps. Though admittedly, there's a little learning curve with the jumps. Like in my tier list video, I have the least to say about the Dragoon, but it is a simple, solid job that looks and feels great to play. For the ranged DPS role, which is the easiest role, the Dancer would be the easiest job. This is by no means a bad thing, because they are a very good utility job. They have a dash move that helps them avoid danger or get into place for mechanics. They have multiple buffs that they can share with a selected dance partner and with their party. They have a small AoE heal, and their rotation is super simple. They also have a 10% damage reduction buff that they can grant the party, but each ranged physical DPS job has their own. The dancer job is so easy to play that I'll prove it by explaining how to play it optimally in one paragraph. First you pick a DPS as your dance partner. Samurai or Black Mage would take priority and stay close to your group, within 20 yards, when using your dances to fill your job gauge as fast as possible. Use Standard and Technical Step, Flourish and Devilment when they're off cooldown. Use Cascade and Fountain unless there are glowing buttons, in which case, hit the glowing buttons. If you want to play the job very well, make sure you use Saber Dance before your job gauge is full, use Fan Dance 1 before you fill up on feathers, and use Fan Dance 3 before using other Fan Dances, in case it activates again. Done. You're a master dancer. To wrap the range DPS section up, to unlock Dancer you just need to reach level 60 on any job and complete the quest Shall We Dance in Limbs of La Minsa, as long as you want Shatterbringers. You can make the journey to 60 as any job, and you get a full set of gear aside from accessories when you finish the quest. You can easily acquire the accessories you need using Tombstones of Poetics at Rowena's representative in Ishgard if you've completed the quest Heavensward, or purchase some from the market board. Finally for the magic DPS roll. Red Mage is going to be my pick here. It's much more simple to understand and play well than the other magic DPS jobs, even though it starts at level 50 with two-thirds of its actions unlocked. Their gameplay focuses on balancing white and black mana, which you accumulate when you cast your damage spells. Once you accumulate enough, you can charge in, do a three-hit magically enhanced melee combo, and flip back out to safety if you'd like. Their playstyle doesn't change much after you first acquire it, just upgrading some abilities and adding some cooldowns to increase their utility and damage. They can cure, 
resurrect, and grant the party a physical damage up buff, and still deal good damage, making them very well rounded. To play as a red mage, you just need to level to 50 on any job and complete the quest taking the red in Uldah. The gear issue is the same as I outlined for Dancer, except they start at level 50 so you can get accessories in any of the three starting cities from the Rowena's representative once you've completed the quest The Ultimate Weapon. Lastly, a quick nod to some honorable mentions. For tank, I would say Paladin is the next easiest. It's the most well-rounded tank with a tight but easy rotation, a heal, and many different tools to suit many different situations. Dark Knight is probably easier to play passably than Paladin, but I think Paladin is a much safer choice. For healer, I'd say Astrologian, simply because you can choose if your actions regenerate HP or grant barriers, whichever suits your style, and their damage buff is pretty good too. For melee DPS, Samurai is going to be the next easiest. Even if you aren't an expert at the job, you can still do some respectable damage and its rotation is less complex than the others. For ranged DPS, I would say they're both pretty easy, but Machinist gets my pick for next easiest. Its rotation doesn't have any surprises, so you can just focus on perfecting your rotation and staying alive. For magic DPS, I would say that they both have their own challenges, but Black Mage would be the next choice. Black Mage and Summoner both are a little demanding, but due to some weird behaviors the Summoner has in its endgame rotation, the Black Mage wins out. Hopefully they iron those issues out in Endwalker. That's going to do it for this video. I hope it was helpful and you enjoyed it. Let me know if you agree or disagree with my thoughts in the comments, and please let me know if my suggestions worked out for you. I'd love to hear it. See you next time, Warriors of Light.